If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform these plain liquor bottles and transform them into these bright, vibrant bling bottles, keep watching this video. So today in this video, I am going to be adding some embellishments to these little shorty bottles, a Patron um, Tequila Silver, a Hennessy, and an Absolute, and it's called Strawberry Edition. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the bottles and um, then I'll add the embellishments. It just gives it a much better, fuller look. I've done this in the past, but more recently I've been using Sharpie. So you, if you don't have paint, go ahead and use a Sharpie or you don't have to use anything. Just put the rhinestones on, but it definitely looks a lot better when you do add paint behind it. Um, I already have my colors picked out here that I am going to be using. So I'm really just gonna go ahead and get started. So this is some little paint that's cost about 60 cents from Walmart. It used to be 50 cents, but it went up a little bit. I'm gonna use some sponge brushes and I'm going to use the paint you see right here. As far as the glue, I'm going to be using liquid. The glue I'm going to be using today is liquid fusion. And I'll have a link where you can purchase that um, from Amazon if you like You to. will also need some type of wax pickup tool to pick up your rhinestones and pearls. I'm gonna go ahead and get started, you guys. So I'm just going to take a very small amount of paint and put it on to this little plastic lid and use my sponge brush. This is about a one inch sponge brush and just gently go ahead and go around the label and cover the entire bottle, just like this. I'm gonna do this for all three bottles and the colors are showing up very well on this glass just to give the bottle a completely different look. So if you do happen to have an event that you're doing these bottles for, you can match it up with any color that you like. Or if they're a special gift for a friend, you can always customize them the color of your best friend's favorite color. It didn't take much paint at all because these bottles are very small. If you're doing this on a bigger bottle, just use a little bit more paint. And it only took one coat for me. so. This paint worked pretty well for what I was using it for. All the bottles have been painted. They're just about dry and I have my cute little, like it's a little desk fan and I have them close to it drying. They'll be dry right before you know it. I would give it at least 20 minutes if you're not gonna have a fan. Maybe 15 minutes. If with no fan, I would do 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead. So I'm just taking my time and I'm going to go in with a five millimeter clear rhinestone and just line out the label on this bottle. I just think it'll make it look a little bit better and just really make it just look more complete. Now I'm adding the five millimeter um, jelly rhinestone. If you're not familiar with these rhinestones, they're actually very light colored. Um, they're kind of transparent a little bit. They look good by themselves, but they look even better when you have the color of the, the rhinestone underneath it. It just looks way better. And this is um, like a light green or a lime green AB. I'm almost finished with this bottle. It actually doesn't take that long. And I think these will be great if you're a crafter and you do pop-up shows. Um, I think this will be great to add to your table. I'm almost finished with the first bottle, moving on to the second one. It doesn't take long at all to do these. Um, I can definitely say this took under an hour, but you don't have to be in a rush until you get really good. Working my way around the labels, I'm continuing to add the rhinestones. And just making sure that they're all close so that there's no spacing. So over the summer, I actually did um, go to um, a pop-up shop and I did have a table. Um, that's not really my thing, but I, I went just to check it out and see how it was. And I did have these little shorty bottles. They did really well. I sold um, pretty much all the bottles. People were so shocked when they found out there was something actually in the bottles. And I'm not the best with pricing. Um, I believe I charged $25 for them. 
So I guess that's a decent price. You probably can go up to 30. Um, price and I think also depends on what type of uh, supplies you're using. If you're using crystals, you may want to charge differently than if you were just using regular resin rhinestones. And then your area also can depend. Um, like whatever area you're in, some things cost a little bit more in certain areas. So keep that in mind. Um, I think these pink pearls are just so beautiful. I just wanted to try something different, shake it up a little bit. But these pearls are like a perfect color for this. I really like how the paint matched up very well with the pearls. All of the colors really matched up pretty good. If you're thinking about doing crafting as like a side hustle and want to make some extra money, um, the cost of everything is pretty much rising and some people aren't buying certain things. But what we do know for sure is that people are always going to buy liquor and alcohol no matter what the state of the world is. So um, these do pretty good. I would have never really thought to do these, but someone requested it. And ever since they've been kind of like a hot thing. So I'm actually almost finished and I think these are like super cute. Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of these bottles, the Hennessy, the Absolute, and the Patron. And I think they are so, so adorable. Now, don't get me wrong, pink is my favorite color, but I am like really digging that Hennessy bottle. It's just something about it. I guess just seeing a Hennessy bottle be blue like that. It's just like, I don't know. And those like midnight uh, dark AB color rhinestones are gorgeous to me. I really, really like those. Um, let me know, you guys, which one of these is your favorite. Which one like, really catches your eye? I think this is a good idea to add this to your pop-up table. I'm thinking like $25, but maybe more. You know, it's a custom item. You can sell it as a set, you know? Or this will also, uh, like I said, be a wonderful birthday gift. Find out what your um, friend's uh, favorite drink is and do those bottles. This Patron bottle just has such a cute little shape to me. I like this bottle as well. The Absolute bottle um, was a little awkward. This green is so pretty. I just like bright colors, period. I want to do some more of these. Um, maybe try some darker colors. But you guys, I hope you did get some like really cool ideas maybe some gift ideas like around Christmas time next year this will be some great stocking stuffers also if you are going to take these to a pop-up shop make sure that wherever the pop-up shop is just kind of make sure it's okay to have these bottles there you know sometimes there's church events or uh, different pop-up shops that involve schools or things like that so just make sure it's okay the person that invited me to do the pop-up shop it was actually at a like a hall inside of a bar but because these bottles had liquor in them and then I had also had some wine bottles, I wanted to make sure it was okay. I didn't want to, you know, have any issues with that. It ended up being okay for that particular event. So I just wanted to throw that out there as well, just to make sure that everything is cleared um, as far as that goes. Um, but these are just super, super cute. I just love these colors. Next time I got to make sure I do a, um, a purple one too. But I really like these especially with how bright and vibrant they are. So just get a little bit of paint or some Sharpies. Just color the bottles. So just really transform these bottles and really make them stand out, you guys. I hope you did receive some really cool ideas maybe for a gift or maybe to set up for your party. These will make great party favorites too. Um, thanks, you guys, for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And also, follow me on Instagram at life is a whole vibe underscores in between each word. And if you're going to subscribe, please make sure that you do hit the notification bell that you so that you will be updated and alerted when I upload a new video. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Be sure to check out our website, MyRoyalRadiance.com where we sell lip gloss, hand sanitizers, shoe charms, and much more. Use my coupon code royalbeauty 10 off for a special discount for my subscribers. Be sure to check out our website, CRTechnicalDefense.com where we sell in waistband gun holsters available in four different sizes. We also carry gun cleaning mats and much more. Use my special discount code VIBES, V I B E S, for my subscribers. And be sure to check out some of my other playlists that I have available on this channel. You may see some other cool videos that may pique your interest. So make sure you check those out as well. Thanks again for visiting this channel. Bye-bye.